Hi everyone, my name is Jacob Lee and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be talking about Gods of Risk, which is a novel set in the Expanse universe written by James S. A. Corey. So far for the Expanse, I've read the first two novels. The links to those could be right, right off my head right now. They're called Leviathan Wakes and Caliban's Roar. And as you can tell in those reviews, I love them a lot. They're great sci-fi books with great characters and political stuff. But this one, not so good, guys. This was probably the worst book I've read this year so far. So I've only read like five or so books. Um, it, it just read well, like a very bad YA novel, you know? It was just... I get what the writers were going for, you know? Going for a different tone than the Man Ex Man Expanse series. But it could have been way more entertaining. It was just... It's just a terrible book, you guys. Um, a good example of a good novella that has a very different tone from the main series would be The Hedge Knight, which is a uh, spinoff of A Song of Ice and Fire. And that has a very different tone, like I said, but it's still a very good book, very action-packed and likable. I had fun reading that. This one, it's just terrible. Complete tonal mood, whatever. It's just bad. Um, David, who is the protagonist, is a very unlikable protagonist. He was just a stereotypical, wimpy, whiny, angsty teenage boy who just complained about his problems. But, I mean, I'd kind of be hypocritical because I'm also a whiny, angsty teenage boy. But that's not that's not the point I'm trying to make here. <laughs> uh, his love interest, Kiki, I think, Lily, so forgettable. Which goes into my point that she's a one-dimensional character. Well, she's more of a character tool. Than act than a layered three dimensional character, which sucks though because the expanse itself has so many good female characters like Bobby, or Avasala, or Naomi, or Anna, Melba. The list goes on. Um, I was hoping that Bobby, who's David Ants, who's David's aunt in this, would get more screen time because she's one of the best characters from Caliban Zool, which is book two. And while we got to see how she behaved at home and with her family, she was really sidelined here and a focused more on her nephew, David. I would have preferred to see if the um, book was told from her perspective instead, because the parts she was in were very badass and remained the most entertaining parts. So yeah, it should have been told from her perspective instead of David's. So yeah. Did not like this one, guys. I'm giving this a D plus, only because it had Bobby in it. Um, I felt like I do not did not have to read this to understand the other books that well. It was pretty boring, guys. Yeah, that's when it's everything I have to say. Um, sorry, Expanse Rattles. But I'm on book three right now, Bad and Skate, and that is really good. So it's not like I don't like you guys. <laughs> I'm not that I'm gonna watch this anyway. Um, so yeah guys, I post videos every Thursdays and Sundays. I hope everybody out there has a nice day, and peace.